day to you all. This is Pyrala again and today's vlog I'm gonna show to you how to manipulate this uh, Alaris infusion pump. It helps a lot sa ating mga nurses kasi uh, napapadali yung ating trabaho. We don't have to, to check if we have finished the infusion, the infusion. So by the use of this machine, it will just alarm automatically once the infusion has finished. How to use this machine is this is what I'm gonna show to you guys. First, prepare your IV fluid. Assuming that this is the 500cc normal saline and prime at first. Then after priming, we are now ready to set the machine. So this is how to set the machine. So just open this uh, clamp door. Hook this one inside the machine. Make sure this is the step one. It says here, load first. You can see this one here, load first. So this is the number one. After the priming, uh, do the number one. And then this is the number two. This is the number one. At the bottom is the number two. Click and press a little. Para mag fit in siya. And then you can now clamp the door. So, ayan. Click. So, it's now closed. And you should open this one. So, everything is open. The only uh, control is inside. The machine now controls the everything. So, switch on. System on. Once it's switch on. New patient? Of course, yes. And the name of your hospital because this is already pre-set up. We are in this hospital. Yes. And enter patient ID and press confirm. That I have the uh, six number ones. One, two, three, four, five, six digits now. Confirm. After uh, entering the MRN, go to the channel select in the either in the basic infusion or the guard rails iv fluids if you go to the guard rail iv fluids you will find here a lot of uh, iv fluid names uh, since this is normal saline it says here sodium chloride so this is my normal saline now normal saline they read is it as normal saline or normal saline if you're a Filipino so just press the normal saline saline is this correct yes I'm correct and now what rate you want in ED usually the doctor will order the fastest bolus uh, like for example 1000 ml the doctor wants to infuse 1000 ml in this machine it doesn't have 1000 ml per hour but instead the maximum uh, rate or ml per hour that we can infuse to the patient is 999 instead of 1000 so just press here 999 volume to be infused like for example 20 ml just press the 20 ml but before you press the start go to the options first and if for adult we are Just go to the selectable and instead of 200, uh, bring it up to, set up to 300 so that the machine will not alarm. So just press confirm and now we are ready. For example, I'm going to infuse the 20 ml to the patient. So... After the setup, just press the start. And now, rate exceeds guardrails limit of 500 ml per hour. Are you sure? Yes. So now it is now infusing. So, of course, I'm just infusing it here inside the plastic bag. So that's it. Wait until it finishes. It will just alarm once it completes the uh, 20 ml. And uh, let's see, uh, only 5 ml so that it will alarm right away. So we will wait 
and let us listen how it alarms when it reaches the 5 ml or the 5 cc so at this time uh, you can go out uh, okay now it's completed so infusion complete after completion you can just switch off just switch off like that so it will alarm so you will know that the infusion has been finished and uh, while the infusion is going if it will uh, take like one hour to finish everything or half an hour to finish everything you can still do the other task so now uh, here comes the multitasking so you don't have to go to the patient from time to time just to check if the infusion has been finished but instead just wait for the machine to alarm to alarm you that it is uh, finished so there's another way of infusing this one so again let's go to the system on we are on the same patient so no it's not a new patient still the same hospital yes confirm now so again channel select press wherever this one which channel because you can put a lot of channels even four or five channels this is the channel that what i am that's what i am telling so one channel even two three four a lot of channels that we can put so uh, yes press the a channel and uh before i set up to the guardrails IV fluids we can also use this ba basic infusion same thing rate nine for example i am infusing infusing the uh, paracetamol the rate is 300 ml to be infused for 20 minutes uh, amount to be infused for example i want to infuse only like 30 ml so that's it we have already set this up before so pressure limit is 300 for the adult so just press start again so now it's infusing and wait until it alarms it has uh, ended let us see how it works if you will do the guardrails go to channel select again guardrails drugs for example these guardrails drugs are if you infuse like um, uh, let's say uh, nitroglycerin so just go to where the letter n is so this element oh, oh okay this one is the n nitroglycerin i want to infuse the nitroglycerin just go to the letter n so nitroglycerin i want to start the um, five milligram per 50 ml so just press this one 5 milligram in 50 ml is this correct you will confirm yes that is correct so the amount of drug is uh, 5 milligram it's automatic in the system I am infusing 100 microgram per ml I uh, know the this is the concentration of the medicine so it is already uh, calculated by the machine itself just press next so 3 ml per hour you are infusing 3 ml per hour volume to be infused like for example you want the 3 ml so this is the 5 microgram per minute the machine has calculated it for you so again let's see for the pressure limit for adult make sure that it is like 250 or 300 so that it will not alarm just say let's say 300 confirm and then you can now start the infusion so it is now infusing 5 microgram per minute of nitroglycerin so that's it once again this is spiral again thank you so much for watching this video and uh, if you are new to this channel don't forget to uh, subscribe me and hit the notification bell so that you will get notified if I have video uploads we are now finished just if you want to pause you can pause if you want if you're doing something or unhook this one from the patient and if we want to finish 
everything and terminate this IV fluid only just long press the channel select to switch it off long press now so okay. additional input so nitroglycerin is sensitive medicine for example I am infusing the nitroglycerin I should have used this type of uh, IV set because this is what we call the IV set recommended to be used for light sensitive medicine. So nitroglycerin is a light sensitive medicine which should be used with by this IV set. So instead of using this, just use this one. So we don't have to uh, cover this with black plastic or whatever <laughs> because I'm seeing others oh, anyway uh, that is what we call uh, resourcefulness if you don't have this type you can just cover this one but of course if your hospital is uh, rich that you have this type of IV set you have to use this one this is to be used for the light sensitive uh, medications like nitroglycerin of course is one of those 